This is not an Akil Ross Award. This is a Chapin, South Carolina recognition. I'm in a conference in Boston, um, a great to greater conference, and I get a call on my cell phone uh, from a number I don't recognize, and I pick up, and it is a representative from the NASSP that says, uh, we have some news for you. And one, congratulations on being a state uh, uh, principal of the year for representing South Carolina. Uh, but, and she said, drum roll, and I was just in disbelief. She said, you are one of three finalists for the uh, National uh, Principal of the Year. And I can tell you the details that she said after that, I couldn't really hear because I was just, I was just really blown away. And I had stepped out to take a call at a conference and I just, I can't even go back in to, to really focus. It's a thrilling experience uh, to see, uh, you know, your colleagues, recognized at the highest level and affirmed in such a positive way. And of course, uh, unquestionably, uh, Dr. Ross is worthy of this recognition, uh, but it, uh, good morning, good morning. It, it thrills me, it thrills my soul in a way uh, that I, uh, I can't uh, really even find words to describe. Uh, he is so deserving and I think it certainly reflects so positively not only on him, but on all of us uh, that he's been recognized for the uh, wonderful job that he does. It's hard for principals to be visible um, to their staff and to their students. Um, he sets up his office in a hallway um, a lot of days and so that the kids and the teachers can get FaceTime with him. Um, he's very visible. He comes to all the athletic events. He brings his family to all the athletic events. So as a leader, um, he's present and then he's also transparent. Um, he wears his heart on his sleeve. You know, he makes everyone feel like they're the most important person in the room. So his whole mantra, the thousand passions, one heartbeat, we are Chapin. He literally makes every kid feel like they should be here and every teacher feel like they're important. Um, and I think as a leader, that's the most important part. Like, he has made everyone buy in to becoming part of the Eagle family. I think that's awesome. Seniors, class of 2018, one heart be ready, ready, ready. Chief in high school, one heart be ready, ready, ready. That's who we are. As you walk around Chief, and you'll see uh, a heart. Uh, our our mascot is the Eagle. Our logo is the talon of the, uh, of the eagle. Um, but we have this unofficial logo now, and it's the heart. And for eight years, we have been building a heartbeat, uh, which is about sharing each other's passions and promoting those uh, passions amongst the community. And so this is a community school. And we think that what we have here, what we call it the heartbeat, uh, we think it really works. And so our town has adopted it, and everyone has uh, really pulled into this notion that we are Chapin, that we are a, a community of learners. So no one succeeds in isolation. And so one person's success is shared by the entire Eagle family. And that is that, that, that heartbeat that we, we talk about. So for Chapin, uh, this is not an Akil Ross Award. This is a Chapin, South Carolina recognition. As a big Chapin fan, I think we're one of the best schools. I think that's a direct representation of him. He just brings the school together and he deserves to be National Principal of the Year more than anyone I've ever seen because what he does for the school and for the students and for me is unexplainable. If you look at the Latin roots for educator, and I love that word, educator, there are two Latin roots. One means to train up, and that is the curriculum that we have. The other is to bring out, and there's a passion inside each and every child. And the secret to just having amazing results and amazing culture is if I can touch that passion and bring it out. And so as you walk the halls of Chapin, you'll see that heart everywhere. I would call him a champion. You know, he has a big speech about the difference between winners and champions and what it takes to go from one to the other. And I think Dr. Ross exemplifies um, what it means to be a champion. So whoever's name. And if that, if I'm fortunate enough to be that, 
My mission now is to go around the country and show people, let me show you what's going on in Chapin, South Carolina. Let me show you what's going on in School District 5 or Lexington and Richland counties. And if you can take elements of this and use it uh, to have the sustained success that we have in District 5 and in Chapin, South Carolina, you know, then, then that's the mission being accomplished.